as you all know, this uh, hospital was started and inaugurated by the President of India, Mr. Great Mr. Sanjeeva Reddy. And this hospital was basically dedicated to the field of biology and nephrology care. We, we have been working only in the field of biology and nephrology for the last 30 years or so. Initially, when we started this hospital, minimally invasive surgery was just in the beginning of its inception. And over the last 30 years, as you can uh, very well know from all the available literature elsewhere also, urology has transited from the initial open surgery to the minimally invasive surgery and now the latest era of robotic surgery. We usually, when we started, we started with stone disease. We were offering minimally invasive treatment for stone disease. And then we were also offering minimally invasive treatment for uh, prosthetic enlargement. Then slowly over the period of time we have introduced laparoscopy in the management of uh, various urological diseases. Laparoscopy was started in uh, 2000 and now after a decade of laparoscopy we are shifting our gears into robotic surgery. Whatever we were doing in open surgery the same procedure or the same thing was being done in laparoscopy. Now we are doing the same thing in robotic surgery, but the advantages of introduction of minimally invasive surgery is that the pain is less, the hospital recovery is fast and patient is able to resume his normal work earlier so that effectively whatever cost of laparoscopy is there or whatever the cost of laparoscopy is involved, the same can be recovered in a shorter manner by the patients as a way of earlier recovery or resumption of the normal duty after the operation is over. Over the period of time we felt that we were offering treatment, minimally invasive treatment for stone disease and prostate but what lagged behind was especially the field of cancers and this was overcome and in 2010 January we started the department of Euro-Oncology though we were doing Euro-Oncological cases earlier also but since the, uh, the department was opened in January 2010 we have started offering various recent techniques and recent developments which have happened in neuro-oncology fields to the benefit of our patients. When we, when we talk about prostate, you know here, earlier in India the patients of prostate cancer used to present with advanced disease where nothing was left for the surgeon to, to, to offer to the patients. But now with widespread use of uh, screening disease, screening uh, of the prostate cancer, the cancer prostate is diagnosed early in the stage and when the prostate is localized doing minimally invasive surgery such as removing prostate by doing radical prostatectomy offers the patient better outcomes in terms of PSA free recurrence later on or even uh, symptomatic disease later on. Robotics has a special advantage in treatment of prostate because of its 3D visual interface because of better ergonomics of the instruments handling the prostate because of the better magnification that leads to overall better treatment outcomes and it results in better better treatment related outcomes such as margin positivity rates or localized cure uh, in, in, in terms of treating prostate cancer. So robotics was started here in on 25th September 2010, that is the day to be exact and over the period of time we have done almost 200 procedures robotically and our average robotic procedures are around 20 to 30 cases per month. Majority of robotic cases are, are, are dedicated in the field of uh, the prostatic disease, mainly radical prostatectomy is the major operation which robotics <coughs> we are doing at the moment. The issue of radical prostatectomy is that when we do the procedure robotically, the success of robotic procedures is almost equivalent to open radical prostatectomy. And at the same time, all the advantages of minimally invasive treatment, which is available, or the, the advantages of minimally invasive treatment is same in robotics as compared to any other procedure. The open radical prostatectomy is hampered by the longer operative time by uh, longer op uh, post-operative recovery taken by the patient and the hospital stay and the pain is also more in open radical prostatectomy. But with the same procedure is done robotically, all the advantages of doing this procedure by minimally invasive treatment is there. The patient has less pain, has got 
lesser recovery time has got more continuous state at the end of 5 days of catheter removal and therefore these patients are easily uh, they can easily return to their normal pre-operative working levels and this usually translates into the better outcomes as felt by the patients now in India robotic, robotics is not so common as in other centers the, 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 the robots are usually in the initial phases they are only around 10 to 15 robots all over India that too have sprouted in the last one year we were the third center in India which started doing robotics procedures after uh, two centers in Delhi this is the uh, this is the first center in the state of Gujarat as well as the first center which caters to all robotics need of the patients in uh, uh, western part of India this is the first robot in India which is dedicated specially to the field of urology no other hospital in India have, has a robot which is dedicated only to one speciality that is urology but this hospital has a robot which is dedicated only to the field of urology and only urological people are doing procedures with the same when we talk about robotic procedure the, the, uh, the, the important thing that we need to consider is the number of cases which we are doing uh, per day because you know the, uh, the cost of robotics also involves the cost of disposable so when we plan our robotic procedure we usually plan that we do around two to three procedures per day so that the cost is assimilated between the patients and for this what we need to know is that uh, when we book the patients for robotic procedure we book them in, in a groups so that these patients are operated on the same day and the, the benefit of the operation is, is received by the patient at the same time the cost incurred or the disposable which, which we need to put is shared by the patients which we do operate on the same day. So for the robotics to be viable in India what we need is proper planning, proper implementation of the robotic procedure and this also includes recruitment of the patients who come from outside from uh, the day of the diagnosis to the day of operation. We have started a unit whereby we call the patients directly from uh, from outside and we arrange for the conveyance say from the airport or say from the railway station we, we, we make an appointment specially on that day give the date of operation on, the, on, on, on a specified day where the patient has to be admitted and the patient has to stay here for the next 5 days we have state of the art hospital infrastructure facility we have state of the art residential uh, place for the patients to stay we have state of the art uh, hotels which are just outside the uh, hospital where the patients can come and stay comfortably when they are posted for robotic procedure they usually come one day before with all the necessary investigations so that minimal time is spent in uh, getting those investigations done prior to the operation then these patients undergo operation the next day and usually stay here till the catheter is removed at fifth day when we remove the catheter we do a, we do a cystogram to to see whether the patency of the anastomosis which we have created is leak proof and then we remove the catheter we keep patients stay here for another one day and then discharge so the entire package of robotic prostate takes around six days from the time the patient comes to the hospital to the time when the patient is discharged so during this six days we make sure that the patient as well as the relatives of the patient who have come from uh, far off distances are uh, made sure that they they stay comfortably in the rooms of the nearby hotels, whichever they prefer and the, the stay is made pleasant enough the, the patient usually after the operation remains in the post-operative ward for around a day or so and then uh, after the prostate procedure is over the patients are usually ambulant on the first post-operative day they are shifted back to their room the nursing care which is provided to the patient is uh, the usual nursing care which is done for any other operation Normally, after after robotic prostatectomy, patients are pain free for uh, pain free after initial uh, 22, 22, 24 hours, and they are on analgesics on an SOS basis. Uh, normally, the patients are ambulant; they start taking their feeds normally uh, by the first post-operative day, and for the next two or three days, patients just lie on the bed. They are ambulant; they enjoy the local atmosphere, and on the fifth day, the catheter is removed. Subsequently, if everything is fine, patient is discharged the next day. We keep on having uh, patients follow up with PSA done at 3 monthly for 2 years at least. 
and then depending upon the histopathological report of the prostatectomy, the patient is advised adjuvant uh, treatment if required or else they are just on follow up. Now, also during follow up, what we have done is that we have made a state of art uh, neuro oncological registry whereby the patients can send their PSA and that PSA is sent uh, is, is delivered to the registry so that the record of the patient from the day of admission to 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 follow up is all maintained in a register and these patients can be uh, called as and when required and also their data can be uh, used to produce uh, literature and paper supports for radical prostate media to talk. So it's very easy to contact sir, contact us at any point of time when you want to contact us you need to have a brief clinical detail of yourself and you need to visit CRS that is Center for Robotic Surgery site which, uh, which is the site specifically dedicated for recruiting patients for robotic procedures at NPS Nadia or you can visit the hospital website that is www.mpuh.org Through these sites you can uh, open the, uh, the segments which give you details and which give you information regarding the robotic procedures which are being carried out in this hospital They will give you the contact details of the relevant people also relevant doctors who can be contacted very easily with email and thereby you can, you can be in, directly in touch with the relevant doctors who can guide you as to how you have to visit your uh, plan your visit you have to uh, you have to plan your travel and then you can easily meet the doctors and get the procedures done very in a very simplified manner